at Charm City Junction come and do a workshop with the high school orchestra. Did some playing and some getting them involved and helping them learn to play by ear. It's great to be in the schools and be able to, you know, hopefully inspire kids about folk music and, you know, expose them to it. You yeah. never know what little light bulb will go off, yeah. you know. I mean, I remember when I first heard the banjo and that one tune that just clicked with me for whatever reason was really special. So you never know when these kind of opportunities, somebody, even if they're in the back, quiet, not saying anything, in the back of their head, a little light bulb might go yeah. off that leads them to a whole new world of music. We try to do at least three concerts a year where we take the musicians Friday to some of the area schools. At times we ask the musicians to provide some music or a song ahead of time and today they picked it up really nicely. They learned how to improvise a bit and learn by ear and that was great. It's so important to get these groups in. The kids, they see not only what they could possibly be and inspires them, but it opens up different things. We don't usually do bluegrass music here and things like that. It shows them different possibilities, gets them excited and working together as a team, and it's just, it's an awesome thing. Charm City yeah, Junction it's, it's here, soon. and I just want to mention that the first half of this program is really going to be focused on children, and uh, we are going to focus the second half on more adults. We used to have two workshops that we're combining it into one. <laughs> We've been a venue for Manhattan Short for about five years. We got a hold of uh, John, and he was interested in his, having his film club come. And so they've been coming, I think, the last four years. They all get an opportunity to say who their favorite actor was, and then which film was their favorite as well. And then that tally gets sent back down to um, Manhattan, I guess and they choose the winner. The club pays for it. It's, of course, at a, a, a nice discount. Jim helps us out quite a bit with that. It's just nice to kind of watch this grow the past few years. We've started with four or five kids the first year, grown up to eight, nine, ten, now we have 16, so hopefully it continues to grow. Uh, I'm gonna skip the next one. The match, <laughs> this time away, which was pretty cute with a little robot. <laughs> Who thought that it was the daughter the whole time? <laughs> The Tri-Cities Opera is bringing in the children's opera, Pinocchio. Today is Walton, but this morning was Andy's in Margaretville, and last Tuesday was Franklin and Downsville. It's a great thing. They, they got funding actually from the Me Foundation. The theater is, is just offering the space. It's good for the kids because it's another experience, an experience of, of a type of music that they may never have heard, and yet it's a familiar story. A lot of the teachers have read the story to the kids, and so they're ready for it. We are here from Tri-Cities Opera, and we're so excited to be performing for you today. We are located in Binghamton. Who here has been to Binghamton, New York before? Almost all of you, that's amazing. Any schools or individuals have ideas to how they could tie in with, with the sort of things that we're doing, we'd love to hear it. Um, I think the more interaction we can get with groups and schools and kids, and, and the better. Yeah. 